Today's episode is about a song. It's crossed from the music charts into the world of global debate. Israel has officially revealed its song. The song will compete in the Eurovision Song Contest in May. The contest will be in Sweden. But this isn't just any song reveal. It comes after weeks of intense discussions and a complete rewrite of the original track. Eden Golan, the talented singer, will perform the song Hurricane. But here's where it gets interesting. Hurricane is a new version of the song October Rain. It was first rejected for its political messages. Many believe that October Rain referenced the seven October attacks. Its lyrics spoke of loss and despair. But the European Broadcasting Union organizes Eurovision. They said no go to the original song last month. Faced with a tough choice, Israel's public broadcaster Khan decided to revamp the song. Now one hurricane tells the tale of a personal struggle. It avoids the direct references that made the original so controversial. Despite the changes, the music remains the same. It captures the emotion of the original. But its lyrics focus on universal themes of hardship and resilience. You can imagine this year has its challenges. They are for representing Israel at Eurovision. This is especially true given the current politics. Eden Golan herself expressed the weight of this responsibility. She stressed the need to use this platform to convey a message of strength and unity. But the story continues after the song's reveal. The decision to join Eurovision amid ongoing conflicts has sparked debate. Voices from around the world are weighing in on whether Israel should go to Sweden. The Eurovision Song Contest is a global song competition. The European Broadcasting Union holds it every year. It's often known simply as Eurovision or, by its initialism, ESC. Each country submits an original song. The contest is a live performance. National broadcasters receive it through the Eurovision and Euroradio networks. After the contest, the competing countries vote for each other's songs to pick a winner. Italy's National San Remo Music Festival inspired the contest. Since 1951, they have been holding the festival in the Italian Riviera. They have held Eurovision every year since 1956, except 2020. It is the longest-running international music competition on TV. It is also one of the world's oldest TV shows. Active EBU members and invited associates can compete. As of 2023, 52 countries have joined at least once. Each broadcaster sends one original song. The song must be three minutes or less. A singer or group of up to six people aged 16 or older will perform it live. Each country awards its 10 favorite songs, 1, 8, 10, or 12 points. They do this based on the views of music pros and the country's public. The song with the most points wins. Other performances are part of the event, too. It includes a special opening and interval act. It also has guest performances by musicians and other celebrities. Past acts include Cirque du Soleil, Madonna, Justin Timberlake, Mika, and Rita Ora. They also include the first river dance. It was once a single evening event, but new countries joined. They included non-European ones like Israel and Australia. This led to the addition of relegation in the 1990s and semifinals in the 2000s. As of 2023, Germany has competed more times than any other country. They have been in all but one edition. Ireland and Sweden record the most victories, with seven wins each. The country that won the preceding year's event holds the contest. It provides a chance to promote the host country and city as a tourist destination. Thousands of spectators attend each year. Journalists cover all parts of the contest. This includes rehearsals. It also includes press conferences with the acts. It has other related events and performances in the host city. In addition to the generic Eurovision logo, each event has a unique theme. The contest has aired in many countries on all continents. It has been online on the official Eurovision website since 2001. Eurovision ranks among the world's most watched events every year. It is not a sport. It has hundreds of millions of viewers globally. Performing at the contest has often boosted local careers. In some cases, it brought lasting international success. Several of the best-selling music artists worldwide have competed in past editions. These include ABBA, Celine Dion, Julio Iglesias, Cliff Richard, and Olivia Newton-John. Some of the best-selling singles ever had their first global performance at Eurovision. The contest has gained popularity with viewers in both participating and non-participating countries. 
but critics have also criticized it for its art and a perceived political aspect. People worry that friendships and rivalries between countries could affect the results. There have been controversial moments. They include countries withdrawing at a late stage. Broadcasters have censored segments, 